The cables are the backbone of the bridge, taking the weight of all 6,000 tonnes. Cut under tension, all pressure held on the steel would be released at once, whipping the cables out with incredible force. If we cut one end, we are relieving that tension in a little more. Right. For the next few minutes, the success of the whole project relies on the steady hand of the expert cutters. Tension begins to come out of the cables, but we must make sure we don't cut too early. If the cable's cut while still taut, it'll blast out of the bridge, showering us all with huge lumps of concrete. That one came off perfect, that. Just the one. Controlling the direction a building will collapse in when it's being demolished is never an easy task, especially when your weapon of choice is dynamite. In the demolition business, the bigger the structure, the greater the radius of destruction. And they don't come much bigger than this job in Namur, Belgium. This giant 170 metre tall telecoms tower used to transmit electromagnetic signals around Europe, but that technology is outdated and that meant this monster was out of a job. Too big to take apart with machines, implosion was the only way to go. 